Thanks, Frida. That'll be two dollars. Any chance I could get one of those, too? I'm really sorry about the other night. To be honest, I'm just jealous because you're a way better cook than I'll ever be. Thanks, Cheeky. We're getting closer to our goal, Gag. The cow has already been turned off, and I cannot apply makeup without adequate lighting. Oh, no! Spilt Milk gets back from her trip today. I forgot to tell her about the power. Hey, guys. I'm back. Hello? What happened to the lights? Is this the switch? <laughs> Relax, guys. Nothing can stop us now. Uh, except for that. It'll probably just be a light drizzle. I feel I spoke too soon! I have an idea! Follow me! Oh! You ready? No! To get to fail. You have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Susie, grab as much flavored syrup as you can find. Hey, everybody, get your ice cold storm slushies right here. Hey, do you have cola? Can I get a raspberry flavor? It feels good to have power again, although we need to be careful about our consumption. Totally. We should probably go to bed. I guess one more episode won't hurt. Definitely. I could watch another. I want to see what happens next. We could even finish the season. Check you later. <laughs> Good boy, Milkbud. Who's next? Yeah, yeah. Over, over here. Me. Over here. What about you, Lippy? You haven't had a turn yet. Uh, fine. I guess one throw won't hurt. <laughs> I was wrong. That did hurt. My ego. Oh, come on, Lippy. Anyone can throw a ball. You just need to put some power behind it. Watch. Hey <laughs> <Milk> <laughs> bud! He, he went, went that way. way. Are you, like, sure you know where you're going? Don't worry. Cheeky's great at navigating. She'll get us back. Are you sure you know where you're going? Don't worry, Apple knows this place like the back of her hand. She'll get us home. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It begins. Cheeky, I. I don't know if I can go on any further. It's been 23 minutes, Lippy. How am I going to survive the entire night? I don't have my evening shade lip gloss. I'll have to change my name to Lippy Chapped Lips. Relax, Lippy. This shelter will protect us from the elements. This is it. Where's the extra closet space for all of my shoes? You don't have any extra shoes with you. Should we try and find a hotel? Nothing below four stars. Milk bud! Milk bud! Milk bud? Slick, what are you doing here? Uh, Mon chérie, uh, please help. I went for a jog in the park, but alas, I have lost my way home. Really? Milk bud has gone missing. We got lost looking for him too. This is terrible. I adore Milk bud. Oh, I am so sorry, Mon chérie, but I must find some water quickly. <laughs> There's a small pond over here. Ladies, wait. Oh, thank goodness. I hadn't seen my reflection in over an hour. Be well, ladies. I must venture to find our four-legged friend. <laughs> Look, one of Milk Bud's paw prints. Maybe we should stay here in case he comes back. <sighs> You're right. We can try again in the morning when there's more sunlight. Maybe we should get some rest. I'm, like, way too scared to sleep. <laughs> we'll be fine. Susie, did you look at this paw print properly? Uh-huh. Why is that? Susie, I don't think this belongs to Milk Bud. Ah! Hi, I'm Apple 
bless him. Proud candidate in the first election for mayor of Shumville. As an apple, I understand the need for wholesome core values. Cut! Do we really need a flag in every shot? Of course we do. This is an election campaign video. Let's finish this later. Susie invited us to the park. We don't have time for the park. Hey, are you guys ready for the park? Sure am. No, no, no. Apple doesn't have time for the park. We have a very busy campaign schedule today. Come on, Apple. You don't really need to do any campaigning. Yeah, your tote's gonna win. Besides, is anyone else even like running for mayor? Come on, dummy me, quit doing that. Oh no, somebody help! Thanks, Kooky, you're amazing. So, uh, you want me to put this anywhere? <laughs> nah, nobody else, way. Nobody else nobody will end up on her. So, Apple, have you picked out your theme song yet? My theme song? Everybody needs a theme song if they want to make a great entrance. OMG. We should totally head over to the music store and create something cool for Apple. Fine, I'll add it to the schedule. Wait, we need to upload Apple's campaign profile pic first. Hashtag Apple Blossom, hashtag Bear, hashtag Bear Blossom, hashtag Shopville Selfies, hashtag Shopkin Selfies, hashtag Smallmart Selfies, hashtag Miss Slippy Lips, Miss Shopville 2016, hashtag It's Bo, hashtag Shopkin's Bear. You done? No, I just stopped because you were staring at me. Hashtag Interrupted, hashtag Back to Hashtagging, hashtag Hashtag. Maybe I don't even need a theme song for my campaign. Oh, come on, Apple. We just need to create something really awesome. See? Like that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's the shopkin who's been around the world. She has looped around her opponents. She's been campaigning up and down. The streets of Shopville spinning for your support. Please give a warm welcome to the future mayor of Shopville, Miss Yolanda. Look how many flags she has. She's got my vote. I told you about the flags. It's the campaign event you've all been waiting for. The Great Shopville Today, live from the Toy Store. Featuring your two favorite candidates, Apple Blossom and Yolanda Yo-Yo. Remember, if you get nervous, just smile. Being a leader is 90% confidence and 25% skill. I'm not confident in that math. That's the spirit. Now let's see that smile. I feel more nervous just looking at you. Okay, Yolanda just rolled in. Try to act natural. Hi, I'm Blossom Apple. I, I mean, hey, Apple Blossom. It is such a pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, uh, you too, Yolanda. Hey, can we talk for a moment? Sure. If I told you a secret, would you tell anyone? No, I would never share it with anyone. Okay, I'm like super nervous about the debate today. I'm super nervous too. Don't worry, the debate will be all in good fun. I think we're on. Good luck. Good luck. Much. You are our hero. Okay, Shopkins, without further ado, let's give our candidates a chance to tell us why we should vote for them to become the first mayor of Shopkins. Uh, hello, I'm Apple Blossom. <laughs> I'm so sorry, am 
I hurting you? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Apple, tell us why we should vote for you. Well, I consider myself to be an upstanding citizen of Shopville. I promise to lead with honesty and integrity. Yolanda, why should we take yes for the yo-yo come election day? Well, I really understand the value of sharing with your fellow Shopkins, unlike Apple Blossom. That's right, Apple refuses to share her toy. When I asked her if I could play with her remote-controlled speedboat, this is what she said to me. No, I would never share it with anyone. Gulls, but I don't even own a toy speedboat. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Let's thank our two cannabis for coming. I can't believe she would make that up about me. Don't worry about it. We know that's not the type of Shopkin you are. Who's that? So, Fortune Stella, will I win the election or do I need to be even sneakier? Ask again later. Will you even answer my question later? Ask again later. Uh, who cares? I'm gonna win. And when I'm mayor, I'm gonna pass this bill requiring everybody to dress and act just like me. I don't care what you are. A shoe, lipstick, an apple. I'm gonna turn everybody in Shopville into yo-yos. <laughs> Ask again later. Did you hear that? I don't want to be a yo-yo. I get motion sickness. We need to get that bill as evidence so nobody votes for Yolanda. Run! Too bad that wasn't my only copy. Better luck next time. <laughs> Yolanda said she'll turn us all into yo-yos. Oh, no. We need to stop her. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> it won't be so bad. It'll be horrible! Uh, Apple, I think you should come outside. That's it! This needs to stop now! Follow me! My, oh my! Fixing your opponent's billboards. Such an honorable act. Every candidate has the right to an honest and fair campaign. So, uh, did you want me to put these somewhere? Yolanda, uh, what do you want? You're not playing fair! I challenge you to a shop quiz right here, right now. You're on. Shopkins of Shopville. It looks like we have a shop quiz on our hands. You know the stakes, one incorrect answer, and you're out of here. Let's get to it. Apple, what year was the small market? 2013. Correct. Yolanda, who designed the Toasty Pop inspired fashion line? Shady Diva. Correct. Apple, who came second in last year's shopping cart rally? Cheeky Chocolate. Correct. Yolanda, what is in aisle 25 of the small market? Ask again later. Ask again later. I mean, do Trick question, there is no aisle 25. Apple Blossom wins. <laughs> okay, Shopkins, you know your candidates. Now, it's time for all of you to cast your vote for the first mayor of Shopville. Oh, yeah. This is, like, super suspenseful. Shopkins of Shopville. The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. And the first mayor of Shopville is... It's a tie between Apple Blossom, Yolanda Yo-Yo, and Cookie Cookie. So what do we do now? In the event of a tie, candidates have the option to pass their votes to another candidate. I hereby pass my votes to... Apple Blossom. Apple Blossom is the winner! I'm so sorry you didn't win, Kooky. You're such an upstanding candidate, Kooky. I mean, what you did for Apple. Huh? What do you mean? Kooky went around and painted over all those awful billboards for you. Kooky, you did that for me? This entire campaign, Yolanda and I have been too busy thinking about ourselves. 
while Kuki has been helping everyone out. She deserves to be mayor. I hereby pass my votes to Kuki! Well, you heard her, Shotguns. The first ever meal of Shotville is Kuki Kuki! No, no! I should win! <laughs> oh, there's no need to cry, Yolanda. I just feel so terrible. The only reason I was going to make everybody dress like me is so I didn't feel so self-conscious about myself. Every Shotgun is different, but that's what makes us so special. I guess you're right. So, Mayor Cookie, what is your first order of business? The expansion of Shopville. Congratulations again, Cookie. I can't wait to see the new places in Shopville. Perhaps you could build another clothing store? What are you going to build here, Cookie? Well, we need something to spice this area up. Maybe some sort of club. Check you later. Cheeky! We are in charge of the decorations for the opening ceremony and you are not helping! Relax, I'm just practicing my winning face. Your winning face? Yeah, you know, when everything is in slow-mo and you barrel through the finish line and you're all like... Like this! You want to be a winner, you need to visualize winning. And as team captain for the Small Mart, I want all of you to do the same. Now, drink this. Oh, what on earth is that? It's a cheeky charge-up made from milk, spinach, kale, and the tears of all my competitors that I've beaten over the years. You collect tears? That's, like, kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to the first official Shopville Games. We have shoplets competing from all across Shopville, including the Toy Store, Sports Store, Music Store, Tech Tower, Fashion Boutique, and the Small Mart. Please stand for the Shopkins National Anthem, sung by our very special guest, Miss Cupcake Queen. <clears throat> Shopkins, Shopkins, da 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 da. No, Shopkins! Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. I have chills. Mainly because it's slightly cold today, but also because of that performance. Which leads us to our first official event. Yolanda Yo-Yo diving first for Team Toy Store. What an incredible display of shop lattices. A disappointing dive from Max Saxophone. And saves it by finding the keys the judge lost in the water fountain three months ago. Now, for Team Small Mark. Do us proud, Lippy. Hold on. I'm going to get wet if I jump in there. No, thank you. Too cold. Lippy Lips fails to jump. Now, for Team Sport. Simultaneously taking out the gold medal in both the water fountain diving and ice skating event. What a win! I can't believe you did that to the team, Lippy. You're benched! <gasps> so, what does that mean exactly? Is there an actual bench that I have to sit on? Oh, yeah, it's just that one over there. You know, it's actually quite comfortable, but I'm still not happy about this! Okay, Strawberry, let's try this again. You ready? Ready. Fold the paper in half, staple four times, fold this bit here, add some butter, fold that bit there, turn upside down, fold the wings down, bend the wingtips back up, do the hokey pokey, and voila! The perfect paper plane. Easy. Now, your turn. Fold the paper in half, staple two times, fold these bits there, dip it in butter, turn it around, bend the bendy bits back, add some hokey pokey, and voila! Uh, at least it has wings. Coming through, guys! Get ready for takeoff! I'll never get my plane in the sky! Woo! Ah! Apple! What do I do? I know how to make them! I don't know how to fly them! Uh, hold on to the sides and lean left and right to turn! Oh. Thanks, Slick. Love is in the air.
air. You later. I love, love, love windy days in the park. Me too. It really opens up my outfit choices. But most of all, I love windy days because I can do this. Okay, you're like amazing in that scar. Who doesn't love windy days in the park? Ah, I hate windy days in the park. Hold on tight. Uh, whoever you are. June Balloon! Hey! Hey, hey June! Hi, guys! I wish we could meet under less windy circumstances! Oh, no! I'm so sorry, June! OMG! She's heading towards the stationary store! No, no, no! Too many thumbtacks! Too many thumbtacks! Hmm. Toast coming in high! Just 
kooky. Is she scary? No, she's not scary. She's kooky. I'm Frida, the caretaker of the park. You gals seem a little lost. We are. We lost our dog, Milk Bud. Then we lost each other. And then we got lost in the woods. That's a lot of lost. Well, I can certainly help you look for him. Thanks, Frida, but we need to get out of the woods first. Yeah, it'll take forever to make our way back. Well, I just might be able to speed up the journey, girl. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the stationery store, Frida. These posters will come in handy. Fox, 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 Frida, watch your 20. I'm rolling through the big smoke. Over. We've got multiple holes dug up next to Cliff's train. Can you take a look, see? Copy that. I better check that out. Could be Milk Bud. Here, this will help you with your search while I'm gone. I think you'd be best to start at the jewelry store. That sounds like an excellent place to start. Hey, look, a paw print. We're getting closer, gang. Let's head inside and post up some more flyers. OMG, so many rings. Hey, I'm like trying my hardest to find it. I think she's talking about the jewelry, Susie. Oh, those rings. So, uh, you gonna answer that? Oh yeah, that ring. Hey, Toasty. Oh, we're out searching for milk bud. I can't contain my excitement any longer. I have to browse. <laughs> Shop till you drop, Lippy. Yup, too much bling. I'm falling. Ugh. Worth it. Hey, guys, check this out. Ooh, a charm machine. I'd love to be more charming. I'm not sure that's what it does, Cheeky. Do you think I'll get a fancy accent like yours, Lippy? Hello, I'm Charmin' Chocolate. Ah, uh, guys, I'm not sure about this. So, do I sound charming? So, how's the small mart going? Toasty, are you there? You're breaking up. Ugh, it's so frustrating when somebody can't hear you. Hey, Susie! Hey, Susie! Toasty, I can't hear you. Hello? OMG. How cute is this? Toasty, I'm gonna try to get better reception outside. There's a slight chance I was wrong about the charm machine. You think? What are we going to do now? Hey, guys! The Tech Tower is only a short distance from here. Maybe there's a gadget there that can return us to our normal size. There it is, up ahead! from Connie Console. Time to supersize some Shopkins. Ready, gang? Ready! Ready. Thank you so much, Connie. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no. My voice won't go back to normal. Ah, just kidding, guys. <laughs> 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 Milk Milkbud? to track down Milk Bud via satellite. I just need to pinpoint our coordinates. I could use some help. Are any of you good with computers? I know how to do a smile. 
smiley face emoticon. Never mind, we're just about there. Ah, this always happens to me when I'm about to do something really important. Hey, Mel T, helping my new friends find their dog. BRB. Can you hear me now, Toasty? Oh, maybe my phone's broken. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. We should go check if Apple's okay. Lola, are you all right? I'm fine. The bush broke my fall. Seems like the greenery is saving a load of Shopkins today. How about you, Apple? You okay? I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? No, it's not that. I was chasing after my dog, Milk Bun, and now he's gone, and I don't think I'll ever find him. Oh, no. I'm so, so sorry. I just miss the way he likes to be scratched behind his ears. I miss taking him out for walks. And I miss playing fetch with him. Playing fetch, huh? Yeah, he loved it, but we lost his ball, and... Now we've lost him. <laughs> well, if I were a dog who loved playing fetch and I lost my ball, I know where I'd go. Let's go, gang. We've got a furry friend to find. This moment calls for a celebratory game of fetch. Who's in? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. 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 Go along, milk bud. Ugh. Oh no! I think we'll just buy another ball. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. Check you later. No pain, no 
game. Uh. <laughs> Shock you later. Shopkin Holmes, we need your help. Cookie Cookie is missing. Okay, where was the last place you saw Cookie? We were inside the small mart. I received a call from Lippy, but when I returned, she was gone. Cheeky Watson, we have one hour to find Cookie before it's too late. Oh no, why's that? I've got a dance class with Susie. I hope she's okay. Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll crack this case wide open. And we just got a step closer to solving it. Okay, it was me. I knew it. So, where's Cookie? Huh? I don't know where Cookie is. I thought you guys were talking about the mess. I ran away because I didn't want you guys to think I was so clumsy all the time. Too late for that. And where on earth is... Hey, guys. Cookie, okay. where have you been? Stop, though. Oh, why didn't we think to look there? This get up in that heat? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Greetings and welcome to Shopville. We're in the small mart and this, this is the Shopkins Leap Off. Ready? Ready. Cheeky chocolate is go. Wow! Beat that, sports fans! You wanna go next, Cookie? Uh-uh, no thanks. Then I guess it's me. Oh, apple Blossom, the game is on! Are you going to do it, Cookie? Don't forget to get a good run up! Check you later. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! OMG, cheese! Ah! Apple Blossom, are you okay? I'm fine. Wonderful acting. I really believed you were scared. Your turn, Strawberry Kiss. I want you to act as if there are cheese monsters. Me? Lippy Lips, I can't act. Everyone can act. Go on. Well... Oh no, it is cheese. Terrible, again? Cheese monsters? This is bad. Again? Cheese makes me so scared. No, 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 no! Oh, I told you I can't act. <laughs> Much better, wonderful! <laughs> um, I'm not sure she was acting. Strawberry kiss? Check you later. <laughs> Apple Blossom, prepare to be pranked. Hey, Strawberry Kiss. Hi. She gone.
<laughs> Check you later. Okay, spilt milk. You've got to the end of the aisle to grab as much as you can. And go. <laughs> Cereal, uh, hairspray, um, tuna fish, uh, toilet paper. <laughs> what did you get? Um, nothing. I couldn't decide. Another turn. And go. Um, too squishy. Ew, too squashy. Ooh, too healthy. Mm, too donutty. <laughs> You know you're meant to fill the basket, right? Uh, I know, I know. This time I will definitely choose lots of things. And go! Oh, what to grab? <laughs> Look at all the things I got! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Check you later. Not far to the top, Cheeky. Good. It's a long way down. You guys can do it. Just don't do anything silly. What did Strawberry say? She said to do something silly. Okay. Hey Woo! Ah, woo! Yeah! What are you doing? I said don't be silly. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I can't go on. We couldn't pass this anyway. We're stuck high up a mountain. So cold. So tired. I'm so tired I'm hearing things. No, I, I heard it too. What is it? In the sky, is that kooky? Um, why are you crawling along the freezer? The three of us have been climbing a mountain! Three? Uh, where's Strawberry Kiss? Oh, oh, so, so cold! Check you later! Hiya, hiya, hiya! Hi hey, Cheeky, what are you doing with all these ice cream sticks? Are they for doing the limbo under? Nope, something even cooler. I'm gonna karate chop them. Okay, that is cooler. Wow! Um, wouldn't it be better to start at one and work your way up from there? I am a karate expert. You are? Watch and learn. Hi! Uh, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Fine. Well, it looked pretty painful. Hiya! That looked painful too. No pain, because I'm a karate expert. Hiya! Ow! All good. Hiya! Ouchie! Hiya! And that one so had to hurt. Hiya! Ow! Ow! Ouchie! Okay, I admit, I am not a karate expert. Because I'm a karate master! Hiya! Wow, she really did it! Wow! Hiya! 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 Ow! I am never doing that again. Check you later. <laughs> we interrupt this Shopkins episode with a special report. Shopville is in chaos after a major traffic accident. We go to Cheeky Chocolate with more. Chaos indeed, Apple Blossom. Some presumed maniac spilt over a defenseless shopping basket. It is still unknown who or what caused this tragedy, but we'll be keeping our eyes open for this shop villain. And now, live from the freezer, it's Kooky Cookie with the weather. Cold. Thank you, Kooky, for that descriptive report. We now go live to Strawberry Kiss, who is about to report something amazing. What? Me? Um, amazing? Yep. But I didn't prepare anything. 
our audience is waiting. <laughs> Amazing! Strawberry Kiss can cry strawberry jam tears! Who knew? And now, a word from our sponsors. New Cheesy Cheese! Now available in pink! Not actually available in pink. <laughs> Check, Check you later. You later. Hello, and welcome to the annual Miss Shopville Beauty Pageant Final. The winner will be presented by our mystery guest. Let's meet the contestants. First up, Strawberry Kiss. This sweet treat miss hails from the fruit aisle and is a favorite for this year's Miss Shopville. Up next is Cookie Cookie. This surprise entry takes the place of spilt milk after a tragic fruit picking accident. Let's wish her a speedy recovery. Now to our first event, the fashion show. Strawberry Kiss is looking fabulously fruity in her large Louis Descon hat. How will Cookie follow this up? What showmanship! This could win her big points. On to the question round. If you had one wish in the world, what would it be? I wish I could meet Katy Berry. She's amazing. Who wouldn't? Now, Kooky, what would you wish for? Peace. World peace. How selfless. And with that, I think we have our winner. The tiara will be presented by last year's Miss Shopville. Cupcake Queen! Congratulations, Kooky, on winning this year's pageant. Oh, peas! <laughs> Thank you, Kooky. Here, you deserve this. Check you later. Deck the aisles, it's Shopkins Christmas. La 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 la. Lippy carols to all who listen. La 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 la. Spilled milk tries to run. as fresh toast with lips as red as um, 
truths. <laughs> Will you be mine? Say you'll be mine. No way. Cookie or cookie. <laughs> Sacre bleu. Could I be losing my charms? Oopsie. Ah! Bonjour, mon chéri. Would you give moi the pleasure of dinner? I'm not hungry. But Beller, I can feel it in the air. All of the signs are pointing to you and I together. You'll feel it too, eh? No, this needs to stop. I agree. He doesn't look like he'll give up anytime soon. Uh, what if we ask him out? What? No, she's right and I've got just the plan. So, are you going to tell us this plan? Oh, right. Well, you go over this way and then we go around. Where are all of my beauties gone? My little toasty snookums. Won't you sing for me again? Why, well, hello there, my sweetie. I knew you could not resist these charms. No, me. Mwah, mwah, ah. mwah. Doughy bear. He's mine. He's mine. No, he's, he's mine. mine. No, mine. 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 He's mine. Down. Oh, no. I must flee before their love for moi destroys us all. Au revoir, my love. <laughs> Check you later. <laughs> hello, shop. It is time for our annual chocolate hunt. Cheeky will hide somewhere in the store, and the first Shopkin to find her wins their choice of either the bunny plushie uh -huh. or the new car. Yay! If we fail to find Cheeky, the prize goes to her. That car is as good as mine. Cheeky, to your mark. Ready? Go, Shopkins! Kooky, aren't you going to hunt for Cheeky? Uh huh. Aren't you going to run? Nuh uh. Okay. Well, good luck! With us working together, we should double the chance of winning! Yep. <laughs> Nothing can escape our gaze! Yeah, mon chéri! I will not let you escape me! Nothing can distract my keen senses of... Sacre bleu! Who is this <laughs> handsome fellow? <laughs> I've so got this car! But just to be safe, I'll head to my perfect hiding spot! That cheeky! Where could she be? Uh, oh no! <gasps> Sacre bleu! <gasps> cheeky, are you okay? Yes, just get her off me! She's so heavy! But how? Well, I thought no one would be silly enough to still be at the starting line! Cookie ball! I was wrong! You win, Cookie! Pick your prize! Yay! At least maybe I can borrow the car! Car. Check you later. Welcome shoppers to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanest Office in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop, otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! B -b -b burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced Shoppers Dummy Me Diaper Wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate young... Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to <laughs> fully bloom. That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later. Have you guys heard about the mysterious Shopkin? The what? The mysterious Shopkin. He appears from the shadows helping Shopkins in need. Like a superhero. Kind of sounds far-fetched to me. What do you think, Kooky? No, it's true. I saw him myself. I was playing with Mimi when... I saw the caped shadow flying off in the distance. Burnt bagels and breadcrumbs, that was close. He saved you too? I didn't know you had seen the mysterious Shopkin too. What happened? Well, I was cleaning when this dust cloud came out of nowhere. Oh, you saved me. Thank you so much. Wait, who are you? Too bad you didn't see who it 
was, I'd really like to thank them. Well, you never know. Maybe it's a shoppy we know. That's true. Got any ideas on who it could be, Cookie? Where did she disappear to? Maybe she's the mysterious Shopkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. way! Check you later. Cheeky, what are you doing? Thinking. Thinking about what? The doors. The, the doors? doors? Yep. What about it? Well, what do we really know about them? They open and close. They're blue? No, I already know that. <laughs> I mean, what's past them? Oh, yeah. I guess we've never left before. Toasty said once she got squished in them, but I don't think that counts. Slick once told me that beyond the doors lies the land of Picky Nick. A land where mysterious monsters named ants rule and eat unsuspecting shoppers. <gasps> How horrifying! Slick's just trying to scare you. There is no such thing as ant monsters. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's a fun story, though. You and I have very different definitions of fun. <laughs> I'm still no closer to finding out what's out there. Why don't you just look? What are you saying? I think she's saying you should look. Oh, ha ha. I know that, but it's not like I can just walk up to the doors, wait for them to open, then walk outside. It's just not that easy. Kooky makes it look pretty easy. What? Oh no, Kooky! I'm sure she's fine. But what about the ant monster? Oh no! Come on guys, that's just a story. Besides, if it were true, what's to stop the ants from walking through those doors right now and eating us all up? Ah, yes! Uh, hello? Check you later. Have you got it? Are you recording? Oh, oh my gosh, Shoppies! I have so much to tell you. So much has happened in the last few days. We met the sweetest new Shopkin named Susie Sunday. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> and we have moved to the most foodtastic place ever, Shopville. We just love it here. Some of us more than others. Who knew there was such a great big world outside the small mart? But I have to tell you, leaving wasn't the easiest decision for everyone. Come on, Cheeky. I promise nothing outside will hurt you. Um, if you say so. Oh, <laughs> Ow. Inside, however, is a different story. <laughs> She's okay now. There's so much here to see and do and learn. Like, what's that? Ah, oh, you mean the stationery store? Stat Ion Airy? Huh, sounds fascinating. Wow! Well, that's all for now. I can't wait to share our new adventures with you. Check, Check you, you later. later. Bye. Uh, hey, Libby, what's going on? You don't know? The famous fashion designer, Shady Diva, is in Shopville unveiling her latest line. All this for some shady lady? Uh, oh my gosh, she's here! <sighs> Hello, darlings. Ah, I'm your biggest fan. I so hope you'll choose me as your next muse. Hmm, wouldn't you all? And what are you supposed to be? I'm Toasty Pop. I didn't ask who you are. I asked what you are. A toaster? Hmm. Toaster. Ta -da! Ah! My eyes! <gasps> oh no! What did you do? I'm so, so sorry. You! You amazing creature! You shall be my next muse! You're what? She what? I can just see it now. My new muse, you, Miss Toasty, shall be a star. Your face on all the magazine covers around the world. You'll be famous, darling. No, thanks. No? I know I'm pretty awesome, but I'm awesome just the way I am. Maybe ask Lippy. Ah! Maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off. Toasty, if you ever change your mind, be sure to contact me. Ta-da! I won't. If you like, I'll tell everyone it was you who turned her down and not me. Thank you. Check you later, darlings. Greet 
Greetings, Shopkins, and welcome to the nail-biting finale of The Spatula. Our finalists are Lippy Lips, Susie Sunday, and Kooky Cookie. That's right, folks. It's all come down to this moment. Who will Slick Breadstick choose for the final rose? Let's see how our contestants went this week. Oh, my! I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life! Nor have I. Come to me, Bella. We must be together. Look at this dress. It's so beautiful. Sacre bleu. What? Did you see that dress? Tonight will be the most romantic, electrifying evening you have ever had in your life. Eh, uh, if Susie ever shows up. Oh, I like totes forgot about the day. Besides, I'm like only here because I want a rose. Like, they're so pretty. Wait, are you like recording this? Mon chéri, let me use my strength to win a prize for you. Hmm, must be a prank. Look at moi. Come, Cookie, let's not waste our time on this broken machine. Cookie bye. Cookie, my darling, please accept this rose. You are the winner. <laughs> well, that's all for this season of The Spatula. Thanks for watching. Check you later. When the clouds over Shopville start to crumble and tear, that can only mean one thing. Halloween is in the air. Spiders spin their webs, creepy, crawly, and spooky. And the full moon in Shopville makes everyone act a little kooky. And the jack-o'-lanterns glow to life with fire in their eyes. Ghouls and ghosts sneak up on you and boo you with surprise. Black hats cross your path. Bats swoop down from the night. Witches ride on broomsticks and cackle with delight. The clock strikes twelve. The scream cries out. Something's crawling on your head. There's nowhere you can hide from the terrors outside. Not even in your bed. Long shadows will make you jump as you peer across the street. And a shopkin will come a-knockin'. It's time for trick or treat. Happy Halloween from the shopkins. <laughs>
What about Lippy dressed as me? Still, ah! maybe not. Very well, darlings, I'm off again. <gasps> Never have I laid eyes on such beauty. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Check you later. That would be like the best vacay ever. I know, right? Hey, guys, what are you talking about? Where we'd like to go for our ultimate vacation. Ooh. So, where did you guys choose? Well, Susie and I would love to go to a tropical beach. Isn't this just like the best vacay ever? Totally. Yeah, that would be the best vacay ever. Until Susie melts from the heat. What? I'll get it. And Apple gets eaten by a giant sea creature. <laughs> uh, maybe that like isn't the best place for a vacation. Agreed. What about you, Strawberry? Well, I was thinking the snow would be lovely. Oh my gosh, this is so magical. It is magical until an avalanche comes crashing down. No, 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 no! Phew! Oh. And you get stepped on by an abominable snowman. Guys, I don't think I want to go to the snow. In fact, I don't want to ever leave Shopville. <laughs> Like those things would ever really happen. Bye, guys. <laughs> ah! What's wrong, Cheeky? No, 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 nothing. Maybe we should just stay in Shopville for now. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. On the twelfth day of Christmas, the Shopkins gave to me twelve hours of shopping. Eleven checkouts checking. Ten stockings filling. Nine baubles twinkling. <laughs> Eight shopkins milking. Seven shelves of candy. Six racks of clothing. Five broken wreaths. Four shopping carts. Three French breads. Uh -oh. Two sliding doors. Season's greetings from the Shopkins. 99, 100. Great warm up set, everybody. Only a thousand more to go. Ugh. Hey, Lippy. I'm really sorry about benching you yesterday. No hard feelings? Of course. You had to do what you had to do. It's all water under the bridge. All right, Shopkins, it's time for day two of the Shopville Games, hosted by the Fashion Boutique. Are you serious, Lippy? You're switching teams? Hey, you benched me. Why would Shady even pick you? I thought she'd ask Toasty. I'll have you know that she picked me straight away. Oh, please, Miss Diva, I need to find a new team. Pick me, pick me. Uh, what about you over there, the tall one? That's a tree! Ugh, fine. Come, quickly. Yes! There may have been some minor convincing required. Fine, go! We don't need you anyway. Calling all shop leads competing in today's event, the 100-meter catwalk. Uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a model, Cheeky. I don't know what I'm doing. Just copy whatever Lippy does. Good luck. You're going to need it. Good luck. You're going to need it. Don't copy everything she does. On your marks, get set. And they're off, Linspring with an early lead as they approach the first fashion interval. Oh no! An early upset as Lin falls out of the race. Our remaining shop leads fast approaching the next interval. Sadie and Connie in a tangle. It's down to Lippy and Toasty as we approach the final leg. <laughs> Lippy takes long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cheeky. I tried my hardest. Oh, I can't wait to take these off. That's okay, Toasty. Why don't you take a seat over here? Thanks, Cheeky. Hey, you benched me. It's for the good of the team, Toasty. 
It's really starting to heat up here at the games, folks. The sports store leads the pack, followed by the fashion boutique, tech store, music store, and the small mart currently in last place. Wow, I would not like to be their team captain right now. <laughs> my betrayal face for when I run into Lippy. You know she's right over there. Hey, Lippy! Uh, Yoo-hoo! Hey, no fraternizing with the competition! Come on, Cheeky. All this competitive talk is driving us apart. We're not even performing well because we're not working as a team. You're right. We've been losing because I've been too focused on you guys performing well rather than my own performance. Pretty sure that's not what I meant. If this team really wants a fighting chance at winning, then I have to step up and compete in all of the events by myself. That's the exact opposite of what I meant. Pull! Cheeky Chocolate takes home the gold for Team Small Mart! <sighs> I'm totally going to beat you. Connie Console wins with a devastating 100 to nil victory in the soccer video game category. Now, for the long events. First off, the long jump. Long distance running. And finally, the long-distance phone call. Oh, hey, Cheeky. I'm actually right here. Ugh. Mushy, mushy. Lippy Lips wins for Team Fashion Boutique! The third day of the Shopville Games has come to a close. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. It's a dead heat between the Small Mart, Sports Store, and Fashion Boutique. This is tense, folks. It all comes down to the last event of the Games, the Shopville Relay. Who will win? No, honestly, that's not a rhetorical question. I literally have no idea. Who do you think's gonna win? Anybody? Hello? Shopkins, it's time for the Shopville Relay! I can't believe I have to watch the relay from the stands! The following stores have chosen to combine their members. The Toy and Sports Store, the Fashion Boutique, Music Store, and Tech Tower. And competing for Team Small Mart is... It's just Cheeky Chocolate. Okay then, let's get this relay underway! On your marks, get set. I'm so sorry. Nothing is more important than doing this relay together. That means the whole team. What a shakeup, folks. Apple Toasty and Lippy join Cheeky to form Team Small Mart, which leaves our other team one runner short. Microphone steps in to compete. Our shop leads try to focus on the race ahead. It's on your marks, get set. And we're off! Lynn with an early lead, followed by Apple. Mike, with phone, slipping to last place with a very poor start. Mike happily hands over the baton to Connie. Connie makes a move, closing in on Lola and Lippy. Sadie takes the lead as we approach the final baton exchange. It's neck and neck as Yolanda, Cheeky, and Max Sacks approach the final stretch. 
It's a tie between all three teams. <sighs> What an amazing end to the games. Check you later. Tonight on The Spatula. I love this show, but I'm getting tired. How long have we been watching for? Not that long. 20 minutes and uh, three weeks! I have missed so many shifts at the fashion boutique. I better call Shady and... Never mind. She fired me. I think I missed something, too. Uh, yep. Dentist. And I missed my flight. Yep, I was meant to go traveling with spilt milk. Okay, we have to get off this couch. <gasps> Hello? Mayor's office? Yes, I need to speak to Mayor Cookie. The mayor can't chat right now. She's, She's in an extremely important, important meeting. We need her help. It's about the small marks. <gasps> Mayor Cookie, the small mark needs you. Let's go. Walk with me, Apple. Tell me exactly what happened. We binge-watched the spatula, and now we have a massive power bill. If we can't pay within the month, they're going to shut off the power to the small mart. Chuck, how much do we have in the budget? We spent the last of our quarterly funds building the new chef club, buying TVs to watch the spatula on, and this clipboard. Chip, give me your rundown of Chuck's analysis. We have no money. Okay, we need to brainstorm. The most important thing right now is not to get sidetracked. I'm hungry. We should get food. We should make cupcakes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. let's do yes, it. Of course. Nice idea. <sighs> Dig in, guys. Fresh from the oven. Stand back, Mayor! Ah! Is the mayor safe, Chip? She's safe, Chuck. Come on, Toasty. We're trying to save money. I don't want to have to buy my breakfast today. That's it. Why don't we bake food and sell it to raise money? The Shopville Fall Festival is coming up in a few weeks. That'll be a massive opportunity. Except for one small problem. Does anyone know how to actually cook? More sugar. Come on, guys, it's Halloween. Let's take a break and go trick or treating. If we never learn to cook, we'll never save the small mart. And a bit of fun never hurt anyone, Apple. Come on, where's your Halloween spirit? You're not even in costume. I don't have time for costumes, Cheeky. Now hand me that bag of flour, please. Fine. Ah! <laughs> trick! But I never even said trick or treat. Eh, at least you've got a costume. Now you're a ghost. How did our samples go, Susie? Well, nobody really wanted to eat our treats, except for those scary bone-shaped biscuits. They loved those. Susie, those are Milk Bud's dog treats. <laughs> See, Apple, that's all the more reason to go trick-or-treating. We need to research what Shopkins actually like. Can I go too? <sighs> Fine, but can you at least help me clean up this mess before you... Nope, they've already left. <gasps> okay, I'm like totally freaked out right now. <laughs> I never 
never get scared on Halloween. Boo! I'm a tree. Oh, <laughs> Susie, save me! You were saying, Cheeky? That was just a flinch. I'll go trick-or-treating anywhere in Shopville. Oh, yeah. What about that house? Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not scared. I guess nobody's home. Ah! Hi, I'm Fleur Flower, and you must be scared. Get me out of this. Why don't you chew your way out? Is that... Fairy floss? Sure is. Made it myself. Made it yourself, huh? Finally! How much candy did you bring back? No candy. But I've got something even better. Somebody to help us cook. There's something burning. This is the best cake I've ever seen in my life. I'm like sad because I want to taste it, but that means you'll have to cut it and it won't be perfect anymore. Great job, Lippy. These cakes will sell like crazy at the fall festival. I couldn't have done it without your guidance, Fleur. No problem at all. I'm happy to be teaching you guys. Uh oh, uh, photos first, and then you can all try a piece. Whoa, whoa! Hey guys, my cake is ready if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, we can wear it. Oh. Ready? Fleur, I'm not learning as fast as the others. Do you think we could do a few extra lessons? Of course we can, Toasty. Do you want to make another cake? I would, but I used up the last of the eggs. Well, you have to get creative with the ingredients you've got. Let's use buttermilk instead of eggs. Are you ready to become a chef? if you help down in the kitchen more often. Hey, I'm just glad that my meal is dry for a change instead of being burnt to a crisp. You want your turkey to be a little less dry? No problem. Hey! You know what? I actually have too much food on my plate. I should probably share with everyone else. Do, but I'd rather sit in the dark than be subjected to this gruel. I didn't mean literally. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Shopville. We're in the small mart, and this this is the Shopkins Leap Off. Ready? Ready. Cheeky chocolate is go. <laughs> Beat that, sports fans. You want to go next, Kooky? Uh-uh, no thanks. Then I guess it's me. Ooh. Oh, apple blossom. The game is on. Are you going to do it, Kooky? 
Don't forget to get a good run up. It is cheese. Terrible. Again. Cheese monsters? This is bad. Again. Cheese makes me so scared. No, 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 no. Oh, I told you I can't act. <laughs> Much better. Wonderful. <laughs> um, I'm not sure she was acting. Strawberry kiss? Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. <laughs> Apple Blossom, prepare to be pranked. Hey, Strawberry Kiss. Hi. She gone. Anyway, 
We're stuck high up a mountain. So cold. So tired. I'm so tired I'm hearing things. No, I, I heard it too. What is it? In the sky, is that kooky? Um, why are you crawling along the freezer? The three of us have been climbing a mountain! Three? Uh, where's Strawberry Kiss? Oh, oh, so, so cold! Check you later! Shopkins, Shopkins! Hiya, hiya, hiya! Hi hey, Cheeky! What are you doing with all these ice cream sticks? Are they for doing the limbo under? Nope, something even cooler. I'm gonna karate chop them. Okay, that is cooler. Um, wouldn't it be better to start at one and work your way up from there? I am a karate expert. You are? Watch and learn. Hi! Uh, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Fine. Well, it looked pretty painful. Hi-ya! That looked painful too. No pain, because I'm a karate expert. Hi-ya! Ow! All good. Hi-ya! Uh, ouchie. Hi-ya! Oh. And that one so had to hurt. Hi-ya! Ow, ow, ouchie! Okay, I admit, I am not a karate expert. Because I'm a karate master! Hi-ya! Wow, she really did it! Wow! Hi-ya! 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 Ow! I am never doing that again. Check you later. Welcome shoppers to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanest Uppers in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop, otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! Burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced shoppist dummy me diaper wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate young... Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to <laughs> fully bloom. That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Have you guys heard about the mysterious Shopkin? The what? The mysterious Shopkin! He appears from the shadows helping Shopkins in need. Like a superhero? Kinda sounds far-fetched to me. What do you think, Kooky? No, it's true. I saw him myself. I was playing with Mimi when... Ah! And when I opened my eyes, I saw the caped shadow flying off in the distance. Burnt bagels and breadcrumbs. That was close. He saved you, too? I didn't know you had seen the mysterious Shopkin, too. What happened? Well, I was cleaning when this dust cloud came out of nowhere. Huh? Huh? to thank them. Well, you never know. Maybe it's a shoppy we know. That's true. Got any ideas on who it could be, Cookie? 
Where did she disappear to? Maybe she's the mysterious Shopkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. way! Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Cheeky, what are you doing? Thinking. Thinking about what? The doors. The, the doors? doors? Yep. What about it? Well, what do we really know about them? They open and close? They're blue? No, I already know that. <laughs> I mean, what's past them? Oh, yeah. I guess we've never left before. Toasty said once she got squished in them, but I don't think that counts. Slick once told me that beyond the doors lies the land of Picnic, a land where mysterious monsters named ants rule and eat unsuspecting shopping. <gasps> How horrifying! Slick's just trying to scare you. There is no such thing as ant monsters. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's a fun story, though. You and I have very different definitions of fun. <laughs> I'm still no closer to finding out what's out there. Why don't you just look? What are you saying? I think she's saying you should look. Oh, ha ha. I know that, but it's not like I can just walk up to the doors, wait for them to open, then walk outside. It's just not that easy. Kooky makes it look pretty easy. What? Oh no! Kooky! I'm sure she's fine. But what about the ant monster? Oh no! Come on, guys, that's just a story. Besides, if it were true, what's to stop the ants from walking through those doors right now and eating us all up? Ah, ants! Uh, hello? Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! Have you got it? Are you recording? Oh! Oh my gosh, Shoppies! I have so much to tell you! So much has happened in the last few days! We met the sweetest new Shopkin named Susie Sunday! Oh, um, hi! <laughs> and we have moved to the most foodtastic place ever! Shopville! We just love it here! Some of us more than others. <laughs> Who knew there was such a great big world outside the small mart? But I have to tell you, leaving wasn't the easiest decision for everyone. Come on, Cheeky. I promise nothing outside will hurt you. Um, if you say so. <laughs> Ow. Inside, however, is a different story. <laughs> She's okay now. There's so much here to see and do and learn. Like, what's that? Ah, uh, you mean the stationery store? Stat Ion Airy? Huh, sounds fascinating. Wow! Well, that's all for now. I can't wait to share our new adventures with you. Check, Check you, you later. later. Bye. Shopkins, Shopkins! Uh, hey, Lippy, what's going on? You don't know? The famous fashion designer, Shady Diva, is in Shopville unveiling her latest line! All this for some shady lady? Oh my gosh, she's here! <sighs> Hello, darlings. Oh, I'm your biggest fan! I so hope you'll choose me as your next muse! Hmm, hold on to you all. And what are you supposed to be? I'm Toasty Pop. I didn't ask who you are. I asked what you are. A toaster? Hmm. Toaster. Ta -da! Ah! My eyes! Oh no! What did you do? I'm so, so sorry. You. You amazing creature. You shall be my next muse. You're what? She what? I can just see it now. My new muse. You, Miss Toasty, shall be a star. Your face on all the magazine covers around the world. You'll be famous, darling. No, thanks. No? I know I'm pretty awesome, but I'm awesome just the way I am. Maybe ask Lippy. Ah! Maybe not. Very well, darlings. I'm off. Toasty, if you ever change your mind, be sure to contact me. Ta-da! I won't. If you like, I'll tell everyone it was you who turned her down and not me. Thank you. Check you later, darlings.
Greetings, Shopkins, and welcome to the nail-biting finale of The Spatula. Our finalists are Lippy Lips, Susie Sunday, and Kooky Cookie. That's right, folks. It's all come down to this moment. Who will Slick Breadstick choose for the final rose? Let's see how our contestants went this week. Oh, my! I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life! Nor have I. Come to me, Bella. We must be together. Look at this dress. It's so beautiful. Sacre bleu. What? Did you see that dress? Tonight will be the most romantic, electrifying evening you have ever had in your life. Eh, uh, if Susie ever shows up. Oh, I like totes forgot about the date. Besides, I'm like only here because I want a rose. Like they're so pretty. Wait, are you like recording this? Mm, Cherry, let me use my strength to win a prize for you. Hmm, must be a prank. Look at Ma. Come, Cookie, let's not waste our time on this broken machine. Cookie bye. Cookie, my darling, please accept this rose. You are the winner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for this season of The Spatula. Thanks for watching. Check you later.